Hello children. In this video, I'm planning to discuss about few concepts related to simultaneous equations. So far, in your the grade six, seven, that the lessons that you have done the equations, you have solved the equation with one variable. For an example, if I show you something like this, right? So then if you have that the uh, in grade six, you learn uh, x plus three equal to five, that you know how to solve this. So then the x is equal to five minus three. So then the x is equal to two and you have one variable that is x and you found the value of x after solving this equation. In grade seven, you learn that two uh, x plus five equal to let's say 10 so then you have 2x here then you bring that positive 5 to the other side so then you have 2x equal to 5 and x equal to here 5 over 2 these things you have learned in grade 6 and 7 and one more that I'll give you another example let's say that sometimes you have 2x plus 5 so then you have uh, then the 10 minus x, something like this, where that you have the x variable in both left and right side. So then you bring that negative x to this side, it becomes positive x. So then this positive 5 you bring to the other side, negative 5. So then you have 3x equal to 5. So then the x is equal to 5 over 3. So then all these three examples, you have the linear equations, but one, uh, the common feature you can observe here, what it is, you can find that the, whatever the way they have given the equation, all these three examples that they have given only one variable, that is x. That variable can be uh, Y, O, A, B, L, M, anything, but still you have only one variable. But today we are going to learn how you are going to solve the equation when you have two e uh, variables together. For an example, that let's say you have X plus Y equal to 5. Right here, this is an equation algebraic equations, but you have two variables, right? So then how we are going to find the value of this? So then simultaneously, they will give you another equation. So then 3x plus y equal to 7. Now, can you see that you have two equations simultaneously and you have two variables and you want to find the value of x and y separately? The difference you can observe here that the equations you solved so far, all the equations you solved so far that you had only one variable, maybe x, y, a, b, anything, you had only one variable. But now you have two variables, two equations, simultaneous equations, and simultaneously you want to solve these two equations and you want to find the value of unknown variables that is x and y. To find the value of x and y normally we do have two methods right that when you are solving the simultaneous equations children we do have two methods. The first one we call the substitution method right. The first one we call the substitution method. The second one we call the elimination method okay the second one we call the elimination method the first method the substitution method and the second one elimination method here with these videos i am planning to explain you how you can solve the simultaneous equations using the second method that is the elimination method when you hear the word elimination, that means you are eliminating something. You are removing something, right? And you want to learn that these steps, what we need to follow, right? So I will tell you that what we need to do when you are solving the simultaneous equation using the elimination method. 
here that I have the first equation x plus y equal to 5. The second method you have 3x plus y equal to 7. Now this is the first equation and this is the second equation. This is very important children. When you have the two equations like this, you want to number them. Equation 1 and equation 2. That is the first step you should do. After numbering the given two equations children, the next thing you want to do that you want to check the coefficient of each variable. What does that mean? The coefficient, the number which you can see in front of the variable. If you take that the x variable, in equation 1, you can see that here, even though they, have, they are mentioning it as x, we know it is 1 x. The coefficient will be 1. And the second equation, the x is having the coefficient 3. Then I check the coefficient of y. Then you can see that the 1y, 1y. Normally, we don't write that one in front of a variable. Therefore, we just write the letter. But we know in front of y that if you, if you can't see any of the number, that means the coefficient is y. So then here I write the first equation, the y coefficient is 1, 1. And the second one, the y coefficient is 1. Now, that after analyzing the coefficient of x and y, you can clearly see that the y is having the same coefficient. If you find that the y is having the same coefficient, I select this variable as the elimination variable, right? Elimination variable. That means I eliminate this variable and find the x value, right? Now, first part we did, we numbered the given equations, equation 1 and 2. That is done. After numbering the equation, what we did, children? We check the coefficient of each variable. X here, uh, X is having the coefficient 1 and 3. Y is having the coefficient 1 and 1. And if you find a variable which is having the same coefficient, it is easier for you to at this stage. Later you will learn no, that always we don't get that same kind of coefficient like this. But for the time being, you want to understand that if you come across with a variable where you have the same coefficient, that variable will be the eliminate, elimination variable, right? So thereafter, you want to see the sign of the elimination variable, the coefficient. Now, here you have that the positive 1y and positive 1y. That means the coefficient, they do have the same sign, my children, right? The coefficient, they have the same sign, right? Same value as well as the coefficient that the same value, same value and same sign. Okay, same value and same sign. If you find that the elimination variable is having the same way, sign like positive 1, positive 1 or negative 1, negative 1, the same variable, the same sign, you deduct these two variables, the equations. Here that I take that the first equation I subtract from the second one. There are no hard and fast rules that whether you want to do that the 1 minus 2 or 2 minus 1. Here I thought of taking 2 minus 1. When I'm looking at these two equations, I can see that the 2 is having higher values. So then it's easier for me to do the subtraction. That's the only reason. Otherwise, no hard and fast rule that whether you are going to take 1 minus 2 or 2 minus 1. Why I did the subtraction, children? Because the elimination variable is having that the same sign coefficient, positive 1 and positive 1. See the way I am subtracting now. X plus Y subtract the second equation that you have 3X plus Y 
always you want to use the bracket like this children. So then uh, it doesn't give you any wrong answer. So then you have seven subtract five. Then you solve the bracket x plus y minus 3x minus y equal to 2. So then you can see that the positive y and negative y you can cancel. x minus 3x. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did a mistake here because that this should be other way around. I have taken the wrong equation. We will write it again. Sorry about it. If I take that the 2 minus 1, I want to write that the second equation first now. So then it should be 3x plus y subtract x plus y. Sorry about it, children. So then here I took 2 minus 1. Therefore, I write the second equation component first. 3x plus y subtract. Inside the bracket, I write the first uh, equation component. That is x plus y. Then I solve the equation the, the, like this. Solving the bracket minus x minus y equal to 5. How I got that? Minus times x minus x minus times positive y. It gives me negative y. Then the positive y and negative y you cancel. Then 3x minus x, it is 2x. Right here again, this is doing so many mistakes today. So then here it is 2. So then it is 2. And that then you know 2x means that the 2 times x. So then here 2 divided by 2, then x is equal to 1. Am I clear? I repeat, when you have the two equations with two variables, so simultaneous equation, you want to find the value of x and y. We do have two methods to solve this, substitution method and the elimination method. But here we have selected the elimination method when we are do following the elimination method, first of all, what we need to do, we need to sub uh, the, the number the equations, equation 1 and 2. After numbering the equation, we want to check the coefficient of each variable. Here, the, x, uh, the two variables have the 1x and the 3x, therefore 1 and 3. The y is having 1y and 1y. Therefore, the coefficient will be 1 and 1. Then I realize that y is having the same uh, the coefficient value. Right. So then the after identifying the elimination variable, then we look at the sign of the uh, coefficient. Here we identify both of them have the same sign, positive and positive. And if they have the same sign, it can be positive, positive or negative, negative children. Then we subtract the equation that here I decided to subtract the equation one from equation two. But there are no hard, hard and fast rule that you can decide that the one minus two also. But here I took two minus one because I uh, saw that the two equation two is having higher values than the equation one. First, I wrote that the equation 2 components 3x plus y subtract. Then I write the equation 1 component and the x plus y. Then 7 minus 5. So then I solve the bracket. I have the negative sign in front of the bracket. Therefore, negative x and negative y. Then the positive y and negative y we can cancel. 3x minus x, it is 2x. 2x is equal to 2, x is equal to 1. You found the x value as uh, 1. Now, if you know that the x is equal to 1, then what we do, we find that the consider the equation 1, right? We consider the equation 1. What is the equation 1, children? x plus y equal to 5. Then the y is equal to phi minus x. So then the y is equal to phi minus 1. 
then the y is equal to 4. Therefore, this is how you conclude the answer, children. Therefore, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 4. You found both the values, right? That when you had the two equations, you didn't have any clue what is the value of x and what is the y value of y. Using the elimination method, first we eliminated one of the variables and that uh, dealt with only the one variable that is x. After finding the x value, then we use that x value to find the next variable y, substituting the value. Now you can understand it is very, very important to find the first variable value correctly because that when you are substituting it, if it is wrong, that the second variable also will be going wrong, right? So this is how we can solve the simultaneous equation uh, using the elimination method. And we decided the elimination variable. And here, the elimination variable had the coefficient of the elimination variables had the same sign. Tomorrow, we will discuss how we can solve the same kind of simultaneous equation when you have negative, negative. Okay, so then the, today what you can do, go through this sum again and again, be thorough with the concept. So then keep in touch. Tomorrow, we'll meet again.